of the shooting star Was that you last night? My songs are real. My music is uh, based in uh, uh, experiences and emotion and I don't really describe my music inside of a genre. Like if somebody says, what kind of music do you play? I don't say country uh, or folk or Americana because I play all of that. I just say I play songs that are real. And I think of myself as a troubadour. I'm a troubadour because uh, I travel all the time and I believe my songs are true, which does not mean it actually happened. A song needs to be emotionally true, which is very different than the facts. It's like writing fiction in some ways. Art is a lie that points to the truth. What's important is that my song makes you feel something, and I want you to feel what I feel when I write it. I want you to feel like me, or I want to tell you how I feel and make you feel that way. When I personally am feeling the emotion and it's coming through in a way that I can write, then I know I have it. There's songs everywhere all the time. There's only a few with my name on them. I can only write the ones I'm supposed to write. And when I start one, I, I sometimes grab other people's songs and I can't write them. They're not very good. There's a little category called Mary Go Shea songs. That's the ones I can write. I think you get to joy through sorrow. That's what I, I think as an artist and as a troubadour, that if I try to get to joy by writing a happy song, it's going to be horrible. I can't sit down and try to write a happy song. It feels phony. It feels like pop music. It's not what I do. I go to the pain and through the pain to get to the joy. When I sing my heart and I see them crying, I know they feel the same way I do. And they know I feel the same way they do. And they're not alone, and I'm not alone, even though nobody talks about this. That's what artists do. That's what I teach. When songs have an emotional impact on a listener and they cry, there is um, a release that happens uh, and then a relief that comes. A song that makes people cry that is only full of despair and there's no hope in it is not a true song. The, the, the song that has no hope, um, for me, is something I wouldn't write. I don't believe in hopelessness and I don't believe in hopeless songs. Leaving people bleeding on the floor would be to sing my mother died, my dog died, my house was flooded, I don't have anything left and I'm going to kill myself, good night. I would never do that. I would say, you know, my mother died, my dog died, my house flooded, I've got nothing left but a song. There's something. There's hope. We're built to hope. And songs that can give hope to the hopeless it's not going to be the happy song that gives hope to the hopeless. It's not going to be the upbeat, isn't life great, let's go have sex song that's going to give hope to the hopeless. It's going to be the real song that can draw tears, but that person will know they're not alone. That's why it works so beautifully. The struggle is real and everyone's in it. Artists sing about it. I know as a troubadour, I relate to the underdogs. You know, as an outsider, I relate to the outsiders. Um, as, uh, uh, you know, as a gay person, I relate to, to minorities. Um, I relate to people who, whose voices haven't been fully heard. Um, and so, um, for me, politics is, is writing a song in, in first person from the perspective of a veteran who's been forgotten, or a gay man with AIDS, or a woman on death row. Um, that, that's political. I got sober when I was 27. I started writing songs when I was 35. And by the time I was 40, this was it. 
So it's backwards. Usually people start really young, and by the time they're 40, it's over. I'm, I'm opposite of how it usually goes. Uh, but it's perfect for me. It works. It's great. Um, I'm lucky to have this. I uh, never would have written a song if I didn't get sober. I got sober because I had to. I had a real problem with drugs and alcohol, and uh, I, I don't know how I survived it. Um, the, the, um, the addiction came from pain. The pain came from life, trauma, uh, and the songs have been great, great, great healers for me. I don't have that pain anymore. Um, I am a free woman. I have written my way through, and I understand what happened, what got broken, and what to do now to make it better. I understand. I, I have that information. I know. And um, uh, I, you know, I'm not problem free, but I'm not broken. And so I know why I became an addict young. And uh, I was very, very lucky to get sober young. 27 is pretty young to get sober. Um, and I was even more lucky to find songwriting to help me through the struggle. And so uh, it all seems like a perfectly written story. Looking like back on it, it's going to be a good movie. Lady of the shooting star, was that you last night? Did we dance or whispered walls? Did I hold you in my sight? The morning came with open arms, she lifted you from me. Sunlight burned my eyes away. Lady of the shooting stars, as I face the early light, all that I can think of now is joining you in flight. But I have followed Gypsy's girl, lost my way home, held the phoenix to my chest and ended up alone. Lady of the shooting stars, teach me how to know. I want to feel my thoughts go dark and rest in your flow. I'll awaken without fear, breathe the cool, clean air with your words on my lips. Your If I move to you, will you move to me? If I move to you, will you move to me? If I move to you 